Hello everyone. Um, I decided to go ahead and do a quick little impromptu video. I've been mentioning for a while now that I have planned to do a video um, of my scrap space and I'm choosing today to do it. First of all, there's no kids here, although I am a little bit limited on time, but there's nobody here to bug us <laughs> other than the kitties, of course. And I'm probably going to be changing my space within a month, so I kind of wanted you to see the before and after. So this is my dining room area. You can see my dining room chair there, my coffee cup, um, and I didn't clean anything for this. Like I said, this is quite impromptu. However, I do keep my space rather clean most of the time. So um, I'm going to start. Basically, this is my dining room, and this is my desk. Hang on, I'm going to, I'm not going to close the doors on the right currently, uh, just because they are, I have a door stopper down there I'm not going to deal with. And that, if you see these on the floor, those are pipe cleaners. Those are one of my Blackie's favorite toys. So, but if the doors are closed, um, basically that is my desk currently that my husband has made me. And I'm trying to move this chair out of the way a little bit. I have a small house and three kids, um, four bedrooms. So all the rooms are taken, which is what might be changing. But um, when he made this desk, the doors would close. I said I wanted the chair to fit in there so that it would, um, I could close the doors. Then Since then I've gotten a new chairs and the doors don't close all the way. Most of the time, these doors are just open all the time anyway. Um, we, my son plays in this little corner behind these doors, um, with Legos and stuff. So he's got that's goes into the living room over there, um, and you can see the dragon that the origami dragon that my son made. <laughs> he just decided to make a huge one, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, back to the desk. So it is um, fairly large desk. It's got lots of shelves. I'll open up the door again. And it's currently not 100% how I want it, but it's workable for now. But I figure if I'm going to be changing things around, then that is what will change. So then I'll, I'll fix them up then, I mean. So um, you can see it's got drawers. Um, they're not the nicest looking drawers, but they have the rails where you, and I will show you, you can pull them all the way out so that there's not some, um, there's not some drawer left where you can't get stuff and shelves and more shelves and there's also lights that are in here i have the lights on that i use currently and you can see why i don't have space for really fancy video lighting um that there's just nowhere for me to put it i can't really hang it from the ceiling in my dining room you know and then i wouldn't be able to close the doors and so that is what i currently have for lighting but we will see again things might change i have a bag for um, things, recycle, stuff like that. So before I go to the desk, I will also show you that I've pretty much taken over <laughs> part of the dining room here. So these shelves here is a shelf that on the other side is the TV. And my husband custom made this um, cabinet um, when we did our remodel of our house, which I'm going to be doing some pictures of that remodel and I don't know why I've never scrapbooked them so that's one thing I really want to get scrapbooked but on this side he made it all shelves so that we could decorate it so that when people are over or just you know it could be decorative well I've basically taken over all those shelves because I've grown out of the desk <laughs> and then that wasn't enough so I got one of um the these things from Ikea I don't know Calyx whatever the new name is for them in the drawers so I will start here basically um, I'm not going to do a real real um, oh I can't think of the word this morning I'm not going to do a real uh, long video that's not the word but I will go into detail. That's the word I'm trying to think of. I'm not going to do a super detailed video right now since I'm going to be moving my stuff. And in a month or so, when I have everything situated, then I will do a real detailed video. But this is how I have things now, and I will show you how I change things. So I'm just going to start on this little shelf. <clears throat> These boxes came from Tuesday morning, 
And then I do have some Copics and some alcohol markers there. I don't really use them. I'm not good at them. I want to try to use them, but I'm not going to worry about it for now. But each one of these has just markers in it. So these are the Zig Clean Color markers. Um, I thought I would try my hand at those. Haven't used them yet. And there's just more markers. I won't bring these out. I will wait because, again, I might change those. And then there's some things from the Queen & Company events that I've gone to here that are just fun. But um, I've added more stuff. These are empty, and I can't wait to use these. I got these at Hobby Lobby because there's a new Hobby Lobby near me. And they're photo boxes, but they're just really cute. Look how pretty they are. So I wanted to use those for something, but I haven't yet. So, um, sorry, get that in a... And then I'm going to paint some rocks for my garden. So those have been sitting there. I planned on that in the spring and look, they're still sitting there. You can see how far I got with that. But then there's some paints just kind of thrown in there. So again, this area is not put together. It's messy. Here's the scrappy box currently. It's still only about half full. I haven't decided when I will make the kits with those, but probably before too long, after the new year, um, let things settle down after Christmas. I have a cuddle bug sitting here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I might have to take some drinks because for some reason when I do videos, my throat just closes up on me. But I do have a little speaker there. That's just something I don't even know the brand or anything. It's just a wireless and I hardly ever use it. But anyways, um, usually this place is a lot more messy anyway. <laughs> so going down from here. There's nothing behind these. Oh, I do have my large Fiskars. Oh, there's a little bit of paint right there. And behind that is my large Fiskars rotary trimmer that I'm not going to get rid of, but won't fit on my desk. So <clears throat> this area needs some fixing for sure. Um, I have some vinyl for making shirts. I just cut it to the 12 by 12 size and I put it in this little pocket. And then I have my Cricut mats and then just some watercolor paper for when I do decide to try um, my hand at the Zig Clean Color Markers or whatever. Maybe that's Bristol paper. I don't know. But just a scoring board. These are over here because I don't use them very often. This binder is here. It is full of uh, chipboard alphabets, which I need to use these. I need to make that a goal to use these up. So, and then next to those, I wonder if I could do this one-handed, put it back one-handed. That's not going to work, but I'm just going to leave it for now, I guess. So next to those is some um, chipboard alphabets. Again, when my room is set up more, I will do a little more detailed video. So here's how I store my thickers. Now these I got, I don't know what the name of them is, but I got these from the container store, and they are perfect for thickers. <clears throat> Excuse me again. Sorry, got to move around. <laughs> so I have them all by, these are dividers I made from the dollar store cutting mats. I just cut them in half and made them to fit in here. So like these um, are my silver and gray alphabets. So I just stick my alphabet. You've seen me get my alphabet sheets in and out. So I just have them all in here. I have my thickers. Hang on. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, my throat is closing up. So I have my thickers mixed in with my alphabet stickers. And one thing I have done with my alphabet stickers is I cut a lot of, and I wish I wouldn't have wasted all my white cardstock, but I cut a lot of white cardstock in half. So these are six by 12 sheets. And then I just adhered the alphabet to that sheet. Um, so that they can all be on one. Again, I will show those in more detail. If you have any questions about anything and want me to show it in more detail because you're like me and you get an idea in your head and you have to f do it right away, then let me know. <laughs> and I will definitely try to answer any questions until I do the more detailed video. <clears throat> so I have white, white glitter, black, brown, and then into the rainbow red, orange, yellow. So that is how those, and two of these awesomely fit in one of these Calyx, Calyx units, or whatever the new name is for. And then I have some rainbow ones, and I, ones that I haven't really dealt with yet. So um, my plan is when I move everything into the room, um, it's going to be really neat and nice. Of course, it won't stay that way, but that's okay. So over here, 
this is my junk drawer of things that need to be put away. So there's just a bunch of hullabaloo in there. So this drawer, I have used foam, foam board. I use foam board a lot. You can get it from the Dollar Tree and I love it. Um, I use it a lot because you can make these awesome dividers for this drawer and you can customize them however you want. So this is my extra adhesives at the moment. Um, you can see I stocked up on my foam. <laughs> these were really cheap at Joann's and this is the foam adhesive that I use. I wonder if it says the size. 1 16th of an inch. So yeah, I've always mentioned that I like the thinner one and um, <clears throat> they come with two sheets. So, and then I still have some close to my heart foam, which is also, I believe, 1 16th. But anyways, some of my scrappy tape here, um, some extra Tombow glue, and all that stuff. So that's just in that drawer for now. In this drawer, and this will change, this is my three by four and some 4x6 cards. I don't keep a lot of 4x6 cards. I don't really know why. I think because a lot of companies with their kits, they only add a couple and so I end up using more of those. But I have them all divided by color. <clears throat> and this needs to be gone through. This drawer needs to be purged a little bit and gone through. Um, but they're mostly rainbow order except this is kind of out of whack and I don't really like how this drawer is so it will definitely change. So I will show you how I change that when the time comes. And then this is kind of tools, random tools. I've got, you know, inkers and, you know, a brayer. I think I used this for the first time the other day. Um, my heat tool, just random things in here, my label maker. So this is kind of like an extra tools that I use on occasion. Enough not to be put away away, but uh, not enough to go in my desk. So those are the four drawers. I'm going to move now. I'm going to take a little drink of coffee. Sorry, but I'm trying not to choke on you guys. So going over here, this is my stamp pad holder, obviously. Um, I have a few extra stamp pads than what will fit, so I just put my Tim Holtz. Those are the Distress ones. <sighs> I don't really ever use them. I don't use my stamp pads a lot, but I use them more. I've spent the money on them, and sometimes I do use them, so I'm not going to purge. I thought about purging a few of the colors, but I'm not going to. I've decided they're there. I have the space for them, so they're not really bothering me. So that is... Um, Stampin' Storage, I can't remember the box, but they make all kinds of storage boxes. Down there you can see the Lego <laughs> in between the door. That's all the Legos. <clears throat> Down below here, I have my some of my punches. These are the punches that I use occasionally and that fit really good on this shelf. Again, I think it's a Stampin' Storage shelf made for punches. Um, so I have some of those in there. And then this mat here is for the fuse tool. It's a great mat to use if you have a fuse tool. It's definitely worth it because it will take the heat. It's got a little holder for the hot tool. You don't have to worry about setting it somewhere. Anyway, so a lot of my punches go there. And then <clears throat> this cart can just roll and go right next to it. So this cart is my stamps. And I know that I talked about purging my stamps. I will tell you, I'm going to sit down so you guys can see more. <clears throat> I will tell you that all three tiers of this was filled with stamps. And I purged so many, sorry for the creaking of it. I purged so many that there's a few stamps here, but the rest of the bottom is not stamps. And I love it. I feel like I really... And I've even used some of my stamps since then that I've had forever. And you can see these are not jam-packed up here. And again, I just used foam board for little dividers to kind of help hold it up. Because if you were to put all these um, together, it would push too far on the back one. And um, I don't want my stamps to bend on the back. So, 
Um, this is a new one I got. If you have boys, look at how cute it is. It's like a layering stamp. It's by the Ink Road. Look, it's all Minecraft. <laughs> I'm so excited to use this. <clears throat> anyway, so again, I will go into more detail about this when I have more time and when everything's changed around a little bit. But these are just the Avery L Pockets. And I've stamped every stamp out onto the white part. Well, almost every. I'll show you the ones that I didn't. And I even put the February die or the month dies in with these ones because I used these for Project Life. Um, so, but the Avery L pockets fit really well. You can see there's two rows on each one. Sorry for the squeaking. I won't move it around much more. Sorry, sorry, sorry. So the ones I didn't ink are just regular ones that I'm not going to divide. Like here's one from close to my heart. I believe that's close to my heart, yep. And so it's more of a card making stamp, which I do have some card making stamps, but I haven't done anything with those. So those are my stamps for now, and it goes perfectly just right there. Um, it, again, it needs a little more work, but I didn't fancy anything up for this video. It's just very impromptu. <clears throat> Gotta check the time. Oh, I'm okay on time. So we'll come to my first door, which needs more help. <laughs> I have this roller stamp that does hearts. I love it. I never remember to use that. And then I have these little adhesive things, which um, I'll talk more about that later. That's It's for something I'm going to try out. This is a little bag that I have hanging here of stuff. And I just toss stuff in here. Sorry about that. I could talk for days and days and days without a problem. But I start a video and I just, ugh, I can't. Anyways, so this is just a Ziploc bag. This is what I had my children's school items in, and I didn't want to waste them, so I'm just saving them. And as I come along things that I want to purge or get rid of, I put it in there. And I just have it clipped to my shelf. It's kind of annoying at, the point, at this point, but um, I will come up again with something different, hopefully. So then I have this roll of paper towels. I had my husband cut it in half. So it's just like half a roll and then I can just, I just put it on this dowel. I had him also drill holes in the end and so it can hang on this dowel so when I'm going to grab some it will roll. And then I just have it hung up with command hooks. I use command hooks on everything. You can see I used to have stuff adhered here. I've changed my desk around so many times. <laughs> There's so many things that are different than, um, I got to take this sketch down. Sorry, I didn't realize that sketch was there. So one thing you will notice about my desk is there's pictures everywhere. I hang up pictures that are my favorite. I really like this one. Oh, well, you know me. I ran out of coffee, so I just gave up on everything. <laughs> That's one of my favorite pictures ever. Anyways, so here for temporary, I have these two. These came with Starbucks coffee cups in them, and I bought some for my daughter for Christmas and some for me because I liked them. And <clears throat> the packaging is perfect. It's round. I've got empty Ziploc bags for when I need to put a collection in one. And in that one, I've put my rulers for now so I don't have to hang them. I used to have paper clips at the top and I would hang them on these hooks so they'd be hanging here. But the paper clips got in the way a lot when I was trying to do um, a layout or use them. So and then I have my extra thickers there. And then I have a small collection of the doodle bug pins. I started buying them. I probably, I don't know if I'll keep buying them. They were fun and they're really cute. I'm going to make a different way to put them. You will see that too in another video or whatever in the updated video. But um, <clears throat> for now, that's where they're hanging. They're just hanging on paper clips from my wire shelf. So, and then this paper clip is here, or this clothespin. This is where I hang. Let's see if I can do it one-handed. <clears throat> that's where I hang my sketches when I'm working on a sketch so I have it turned around now because it's one I bought and then I have little paper uh, what do you call those page markers so when I take the sketch out of there I know where to put it back easy more easier all right so this is a cord for this light up here, which is just an extra light because I noticed when I was making videos, the left hand side, or excuse me, the right hand side of my page was um, 
not as bright. I had no idea you had to charge this light though. It's a great light, but I don't know if I would buy it again just for this fact that you have to charge it, but whatever. <clears throat> so then on this door, and these are just racks that usually you buy for your house or whatever. They just, we lucked out big time because they perfectly fit in the doors of these shelves that my husband made. I mean, literally, like any bigger and they wouldn't have fit. And so when he made the, sh the desk, I saw these and so we bought them and he put those on there. Been a dream. So I have my border punches here. Some random punches here that I use quite often. Um, my whole punch things. I don't have a crop doll. Instead, I have these ones, which these ones are quite like the crop doll. They're just as tough, but um, they're not the crop doll. I don't want the big crop doll thing anymore. So, just a phone charger for when I need it. More punches. Some things hang in here that I might use on cards, which I'm not sure. I just don't enjoy making cards anymore, which is what I have all these for. But I might end up using these on layouts instead. But it's just some confetti packages that you can get at Michael's. And it has all these different ones. And it's kind of like the sprinkles you can buy in the store. It's got a little hole. So um, I got those at Michael's. Some other confetti is just in little jars. These are enamel dots that I made out of perler beads. And I'm... I don't really like to use them on cards. They don't seem to match much, so I, I mean on layouts, so I use them on cards. Those are great. I don't feel like I'm wasting my money. Here's my crochet twine. I just have it. This one's white. This top one is sparkly. Well, this one's got messed up, but I had it so you can pull on it from below when I'm sitting and a string comes down. And whatever ribbon I have left over from my purge. <clears throat> um... I don't have a whole lot left over. I only use white, so I only kept white. And then just extra foam things. This is my wand we got at one of the Queen and Company events, and this is a card my daughter made me. So I keep a lot of things like that, like that's a Christmas letter I got from my great, great aunt, Kat. Um, it was really sweet after my grandma passed away. Um, she wrote me really nice things about my grandma. And then ran the pictures. So this comes to this wall. <clears throat> which has, I've put this cork board on here and just cork things, a few things up there. Um, my son made this in, this son made this in uh, preschool and it was really sweet. Um, he's now ninth grade. Oh my gosh. So anyways, that's just kind of a fun little area. And I'm going to do the top half of my desk and the doors and then we'll go to the bottom half. This little basket I use all the time. When you see me grabbing scissors and pencils, this is where they go. I have this one sitting in here for right now. Sorry about the watch. My son is type 1 diabetic and he has to have snacks and um, testing times at school. And so he wears a watch every day and so he... Uh, knows when to do those although he's old enough now to do it without the watch but um, it's just he's so used to wearing the watch now because he's been doing it for 10 years that he likes to wear the watch so more clips more stuff like that <clears throat> um, so that's stuff I grab all the time all right so I'm going to swing you around here sorry about that to the other door before I go into the desk the bottom half this is what I need to fix up I have these basically divided these are all just on, what do they call these, jump rings or I don't know what they are, but you've seen me use these in videos if you've watched my videos for a while. And I just have like, this is all wood veneer that won't fit in the drawers I'll show you in a few minutes. And there's some things that I just have hanging on here because they're new. This is all kind of random enamel epoxy shapes. Uh, this is new. I was going to try these on some albums, but they're not going to work. Uh, this is all emoji stuff, and again, I will show this stuff in a little more detail when I get to... <clears throat> Gotta take another drink really quick. I'm very sorry about my voice. Those are just a, like fun shapes that I might use on different things. Um, tags, again, this is a graduation stickers. Uh, so all of this is probably going to change. I might start working on it now so that when I'm ready for the room I will move into it. But oh, this is titles and these are word stickers. So I have this fan here but I'm going to take it off because that's not usually where it goes. Since I got this light at Costco with a fan in it 
really like the fan. It's pretty awesome, but I haven't used this fan. So anyways, oh, and here's some just stuff thrown in there. So I do got a lot of organizing that I need to do. <clears throat> Here are my modeling pastes and my Dazzlers by Shimmers. I love those. Those are really pretty colors. And then probably some of my favorite stuff is this stuff, v Viva. Viva Decor, see if it'll focus there for you. Yep, Viva Decor. And it's called Modelier Cream or whatever. <laughs> I have that in a lot of colors. I think I've used one of the colors. <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm really trying to do this without. Anyways, um, so there's some there and there's just a few here. These are like the whites and stuff like that. So I have a lot. I don't use them a lot. I, when I do use them, though, I love them. In fact, oh, I just got a good idea. I have black. should use that on my daughter's graduation pages. Good idea. Somebody remind me of that, okay? So here I just have, because I love Doodlebug, these shaped sprinkles. I picked up a few because they're pretty, and those will go a long way with me. Same thing. There's just different shaped ones in here. Coffee one, of course. Um, and I bought a lot of their eye stickers when they first came out with these because they sold out. So I just have those hanging there for random because I don't feel like these need to be used in a certain kit. Anyways, going here, what I currently have, and you will see down in the drawer, I will show you in a minute, is my divided page protectors. So I drew up, I labeled each folder that they're in, and I drew what was in each folder. I'm out of that one and then I wrote ones that were just plain 12 by 12 and I'll show you that in a minute <clears throat> I have some of these really pretty gems from pretty pink posh but I don't remember to use them because they're here I have paper clips these are the teensy paper clips some are Tim Holtz some are doodlebug design some are Felicity Jane here's the colored ones mostly doodlebug and then I got these at the dollar store thinking I would use these on cards there's some big and some small I'm not sure what I'll do with those I don't like a Marino. And then my sequins, I, <laughs> there's these two full and those two full. So yeah, I, I'm good on sequins. I don't need any more. Then here's just my tools for my modeling creams. Up here is buttons. Now I, and, I'll, and I have this box tape, which I seem to use frequently, and I just hang it from the thing there. Um, I have canning jars, which I would rather not have them in canning jars, but at least they look cute. Maybe I could tie a little ribbon. I don't know. They're separated by color, though. And then in these ones down here, I have white ones or clear ones that I use quite frequently. I have a few floss or ribbons that I've saved, thinking I might use those. And up here needs some work. This is stuff that I bought to go with colored pencils um, to try again making some cards. Then I have paint brushes and all sorts of little things like that in here. And this, this is kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, some embossing paste, some, um, these are like roll-on rub-ons. I worked for a company named Plus, or I did a couple design, some design work for them, so they gave me those. But I don't have the projects anymore, and so I was going to duplicate them. And then this is my washi tape stash. How many of you can say you have a washi tape stash like me, huh? Like five rolls. <laughs> I'm not a washi tape fan. You probably know that, but I will save those to use like as tape. Um, a couple of them I do like. There's a small one with stars and I will use those on layouts. There's a really thin silver glitter one. I might use that one. Um, <clears throat> so that is the second door. Forgive me for just a second here. I'm moving the fan out of the way so I can sit and show you. Well, let's actually start at the top. So this is what's going to change probably a little and not change. So I just have some things. My Tim Holtz stamp platform. I was told that he's being sued again or by the lady who made the Misty. And so he has to stop making the stamp platform. So I went ahead and got one. Sorry, just another drink. In this box here, I have some white card stock and currently like some border stickers and extra stickers that don't really go with a kit, but I don't want to get rid of. Um, I'm going to zoom, actually make it a little easier. So these boxes that they're in are just the fridge bins. 
that's all they are. Um, and they fit perfectly on my shelf. And I kind of like because these little feet make them stop if they go in the front. So this box, now I'm trying to zoom back out, is all my six by six paper pads. Again, I will show this in better detail after I've changed. But I just bought these six by six bags off of, I think, Amazon probably, because I buy most things off Amazon. And they fit really good in there. I probably won't buy those I bought because I thought I'd use them for cards. But like I said, I'm finding that I don't enjoy cards. This thing's kind of a mess. It's all my Queen & Company kits that I've bought. I won't buy any more Queen & Company kits. I find that I don't like them either. I don't want to, they're more for cards. I was thinking I could make them for layouts. You will see coming up in a video that I did try to make some for layouts. Didn't work very well. <clears throat> it works, but it's just not what I wanted. So they're cute, but I won't buy any more. In here is just a few Project Life kits. And again, I will show more detail um, later. But those are Project Life kits, same thing in here. And these are just six by six plastic boxes that I bought. Sorry, I can't see my screen, so I'm hoping I'm to put Project Life kits and stuff in. Same thing with the Queen Company. All right, <laughs> top shelf is the hardest. <clears throat> so, any questions, let me know about those. Hang on. All right, here's my sketchbooks that I talked about in one of the videos. Um, I love those there. What I don't like is this area. And part of the reason is because my camera sits right here, which is straight over my desk. So when I open the camera, because it opens like this, it hits everything. So when I change it, I'm going to change it. But here's my 12 by 12 white card stock. And then here's my eight and a half by 11 with my scraps, which I also don't like because they're combined. Then I have just some extra stuff, white special paper and a few stencils. I only have two large stencils, so I went ahead and put them in page protectors for now. Then I have this shelf, which I feel like it takes up a lot of space, but maybe when I change, I can change it too, but I love it for holding my camera, and I love it because the selfie can stay in there and it can stay on, and um, it can, I can, you know, use my phone anytime to print up photos, and so I was storing the selfie printer paper and ink above it and some other things. This shelf is for finished layouts. I put them up here when I'm finished and then I take them to my room to take pictures. This is a bunch of layouts that need to be finished. <clears throat> Maybe I'll make that a goal when I move rooms that I um, finish those layouts. Then my project life, project life stuff starts here and you can tell it's one big mess. <laughs> but what I have is a folder um, these are cropper hoppers, I believe, just the pocket things for just paper. But I have one for each month, and what I will put in there, let's see if there's one. Oh, hang on. All right, sorry. My daughter called. Um, trying to remember where I'm at. Sorry, okay, so I'm going through this rather quickly. Um, part of it's because my voice, I didn't expect it to do this to me. And I don't want you guys to listen to me hacking up along every two seconds. So, but like I said, I will be doing a more detailed one in about a month and a half or so. <clears throat> Anyways, this is all my Project Life stuff. And so like April, I have some artwork or things in here that I would probably put in the Project Life album, which I will do a Project Life. You will see me making the pages and then I can do a flip through if you want to see what other kinds of things I add in. And then that's the album for this year, or one of them. Going down a little bit, my drawers. You've seen me pull these drawers out in probably a lot of videos. I have junk on top. <laughs> and then I have all my embellishments by color currently. Um, so anything that's brown or goldish, I will just throw in here. And I pull them out and go through them. I'll probably use them when I make kits from those scraps um, to add stuff in. These kind of random stuff, these are more Queen and Company things that, again, I thought I would use on layouts. I'm not sure how that's working out. Um, and then my enamel shapes. So I have plenty of enamel dots. 
I very rarely buy any more of those too because I also have Nouveau drops so we're getting to the point where I can make my own. <clears throat> those drawers, if you want to know, I believe are by Deflecto, D-E-F-L-E-C-T-O, I think. Um, and if you want more information on those, just let me know. But they're perfect because you can pull, they come out really easy. And they go back in really easy. I love those. All right, so down to the bottom shelf. Um, I have stencils over here. I have pictures that I'm either working with or didn't go with the kit. And I'm going to change that up too. But I have this little shelf thing that I got at Craft Warehouse or someplace. Yeah, it was Craft Warehouse. I have it on its side. It's supposed to sit up and things set in it. But it works perfect for holding all the stuff that I use quite often. So you can see my little perfect ruler, perfect layer of rulers are here, the small ones anyway. Uh, mini stapler, my fussy cutting scissors. I have some glue. My inks that I use frequently. My dabbers. Post-it notes. And then on top, I've recently gotten, or purchased, gotten. These are Tonic Studios, like they're confettis. And I plan to use some of those on layouts. So I thought they, they just look really pretty there. So that's why they've been sitting there. So right now I have a clock. Because uh, my kids, I, I hate trying to figure out what time it is. Um, and I have to know when to get the kids, right? So this is just a year the school years, I just hang different notes there. Again, it's a command hook. I love those command hooks. This is a little phone stand that I have. It's perfect, fits right there. <clears throat> Here's where I put my ink and my ink blending tool when I'm working with it. And then this is just some stuff that needs to be put away. Here's where I currently have my pens. This will probably change because I don't really care for it. I feel like it's kind of a waste of space. But I have my scrappy tape and my foam tape here, and then just a couple random things. Washi tape that I use as tape. Ah, ah, sorry about that. Quite the busy day. <laughs> so this is one of those messy moments for my desk when everything is a mess. And I just finished doing a video on this one. I'm not even finished because I had to, got, need to add the journaling. But again, I was talking about my printer doesn't work. Um, so there's my ATG gun. And this is... Um, my desk when I'm working on something. So I prop my papers up over here. Um, this is the best that I can do because you can tell this is an 18 by 24. No, 18 by, yeah, 23? Looks like, okay, 24 maybe? I don't know. That's all the bigger. It it even hangs off just a hair. I don't even know if I can sh get, show you how much it hangs off, but um, it. Uh, yeah, that's the size of my desk there. So now you guys get to see why I have no extra room for extra lamps. The lamp already takes up enough room as it is. And you can see this is how my hand... Okay, of course, now it's not going to do it when I accidentally hit the light. Oh, yeah, now, of course, it's not going to do it. <laughs> Dumb lamp. Anyways, so this is what I have to work with currently, which is why there's going to be glare for a little while. But we will see if I can change that. So... I was up to here. These, again, are more of the same drawers, just different sizes. And this is what I currently have on my wood veneer in. So, again, they come out really easy. You've seen these drawers in my videos. Um, and I have all my wood veneer, which is another thing that I just don't buy anymore because I have plenty. I mean, if it comes with a collection, I'm okay with that. But I won't go out of my way to buy um, any more wood veneer. I did buy a lot of, like, the stars and hearts and arrows when Studio Calico first came out with them because they were stopping making them. So I bought a few packs of each just to make sure. But you can tell I'm obviously, you know, got a ways to go. And I've thrown a couple other things in there with it. Um, this circle one does have a star on it, I believe, on this side. So that's why that's in there. So I'm good on wood veneer for a while. And there's the little dishes that I put my embellishments in when I'm making a layout and again you can see that I'm currently in the process there's my cutter <clears throat> so let's do the drawers and then I will be done by the way this big black cord here is what I plug my camera into charge so that's why that's there it's a little annoying too that's okay this drawer <clears throat> sorry and what I mean by the drawers come all the way out is you can see that it, there's no drawer left underneath the cabinet. So that's perfect. This currently has my dies and my embossing folders in it. I don't use them very often, 
So I don't know if these will stay in the same spot, but that's what's in there for now. And these are really old cuddle bug ones when they first came out. Um, but there's only the alphabets left. I didn't keep the rest. In the drawer below it, this will definitely change because this is kind of just a mess. This is stuff for my project life. <clears throat> I have a lot of roller date stamps with the words. I went crazy over these when they first came out. But this one I like though because it says Monday, Tuesday and stuff. I will probably not keep them so nearby. Um, I got this Heidi Swap one with the dates. I have to tell you, it doesn't stamp really very well. Um, it's kind of hard to read the months. With Her handwriting is beautiful, but I just don't really care for it. So I don't hardly use that. There's Project Life stuff in here. Things that I might want to go in my Project Life album. There's, Alf, there's random stickers. Um, and then there's... I have a ton of overlays because, you know, Simple Stories came out with overlays with almost every collection they had for a while. And there's Close to My Heart ones, stuff like that in there. Same thing in this box, just more. <clears throat> so that will drastically change, you will see. Then this drawer is what I was talking about with this, this up here that has every, all my divided page protectors. And see, like that one's in pocket D. So I come down here and I have it labeled D. So I know that that is what's in there. So these are all pocket pages um, <clears throat> and some of my flip flaps for my Project Life album. All right, and then we'll come over and I will show you. This is a little footstool I use. It, I got it from my grandma and grandpa when they passed away. <clears throat> Love that thing. This drawer I use a lot. So this is extra pins and pencils. My cutter, you've seen me grab this out for my Perfect Layers rulers quite a bit. Um, Wink Stella brushes, which I don't use often enough. I should use more. Just random things in there. There's my stamping blocks. Um, this little tool snips metal dies. Um, these are the date stamps that I do use because they're just the dates. And I just recently got this Felicity Jane one, which I'm so happy because it goes from 2017 to 2028. And I don't have any that go that far into the future. So I'm good on roller date stamps for a while. And then just a few random things. Um, I bought this glue for a project I will show you later. Um, Mini scissors, which I found. I don't use these very often, but sometimes I grab them out, but I usually use my Tim Holtz ones. Just This is just um, <clears throat> Tombow adhesive with the dots. That's I think it's permanent after a while, but this one, is it temporary? I don't know. It doesn't say. Uh, for when I run my Project Life cards through my printer, because I like to print on them quite often. So, and then just a little tiny this is what I used before I started using the scrappy tape because does it show can you see here how thin it's just really thin roller can you kind of see that there um, but I use my scrappy tape now so don't even really use that and then my glue dots which are in this I ran out of this one in one of these last videos so those are in that drawer I use that drawer a lot this drawer, I love. I have my baby wipes just right here. And then I keep my Nouveau drops upside down. So <clears throat> there's not as much air. Um, I did try to add a color to each lid, which sometimes I refer to, sometimes I don't. See if I can focus on that. But I usually just go off. I might make a little cheat sheet somewhere else because they can be a different color, as you can see with that one. Um, I'm not really, again, another foam board piece. I'm not really thrilled with this right now, but it's okay. My spray mist, my stamp chamois. If you don't know what a stamp chamois is and you love to stamp, oh, go look it up. Um, this is the best thing to ever to clean your stamps. I love it. And then just a water bottle, for mostly for spritzing uh, the stamp chamois because it's got to be wet to use it. So, And in the bottom drawer, my card stops. Um, or my colored, just mostly plain, but there is a few random, like you can see this brown one, but this is like my brown section. And I have these dividers, or I've made one, a divider for a couple of them. I haven't bothered with the rest, but it's just a piece of 
chipboard that came with like a kit or something. So I put a little label there. And so on this side, these are all solid, this, the full sheets. And then behind it, I put the scraps of the same color. So I have to do that with more. Um, oh, it looks like I actually did do that with. Okay. Well, most of them are done. So like, here's my green. Here's the solid greens. And then behind it is the scraps down there. I'll probably change how I have those, but we will see. So this was just a quick little video. Like I said, I'm going to be changing things around and I will do a much more detailed video. I just kind of wanted you guys to see what, where I scrapbook now. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun to see the now and later photos. And so, um, and see what I can change, what I don't want to change and all the stuff like that. So, um, yeah, if you have any questions, let me know below. Um, hope you like this video and I hope you like the one coming up. Otherwise, I will talk to you guys later. All right. Thanks, everyone. Bye.